Good morning, everybody. So, this tank is now empty. You know, my 20 gallon tank with my three crayfishes and whatnot. And this tank, I was checking it out, and I figure something's kind of a little slow. You know, the, the volcano blue in here, the female. And then I realized how orange she was. And she usually hides down there, and so she is down there right now as well, but she looked way too, like, like orangey and so soft and I realize what is that <gasps> she molted I cannot believe it that is just amazing that's her molt look at those claws the exact same look gladly she's all alone in this tank so there's no reason for her to fear anything or be threatened in any way except for these little tiny guppy fries that's stealing their food stealing her food but uh yeah i guess that's how they molt it's my first time ever seeing a volcano crayfish molt and apparently after they molt they will usually consume their molt for calcium and it's very important for you to put in calcium source inside your crayfish tank whether you feed them calcium source or put it in the water to have them have calcium absorb like consumed in their body um like naturally but it is very important for you guys to either separate the crayfish that molted or and making sure they they're cal calcium sufficient in the tank the reason that they eat the why can't i talk oh my god i just woke up so pro probably that's why but the reason that they eat their molt is because they need to consume their calcium and those calcium needs that those calcium will help them grow their shells back as well as if you feed them calcium it'll also help in that process but Everyone's doing good, and I will show you one of the source of calcium that I use right now is actually pretty simple. It's, I uh, can't see exactly, but you and me, uh, cuddle bone, cuddle bone is something that I started using to give these guys calcium in their tank. So what I do, I break off a piece and then just let it float around and it'll just fall down very soon. So they can, you know, chew on it, munch on it, but if they don't, it's perfectly fine because there is a source of calcium in your water, and that's what's important. Oh, she's coming out. Let's see how beautiful she looks. But yeah, so usually when the crayfish is molt, they'll hide around and make sure they're protected well and stuff like that. But if there's no natural predators or any other uh, species in the tank, I think they'll be fine. And I'm so glad that her both of her claws, are, claws made it. And she looks so cute and orange. Look how orange she looks. She looks so smooth, beautiful, happy, and I don't think she's, will she eat that? Hopefully she does. But look at how clean she, and cute and beautiful she looks. She can't exactly find the food, huh? Her legs look a little soft, or her like finding claws look a little soft, but that's perfectly fine. As long as she feels safe in here, and I guess, ooh, what was that? But yeah, so these are some of the things that you should know, calcium sources and making sure to separate them or separate other males or females in the tank to other tank. And they usually won't eat right before molting or a couple days before molting. But funny enough, she was eating till yesterday. <laughs> I fed her a bunch of blood worms and a bunch of pellet food and then she was eating like crazy so I did not expect her to molt today but uh, I guess that's such an unexpected thing and in this tank um, these guys are doing great there's one out there very active just looking around and you know there's one in there and one in there as well somebody took the housing over there hopefully that's a female that's going to bury and give me a little some babies but yeah these guys are all doing great and soon they'll probably mold too just coming out again bye so uh, make sure those details are followed for these guys making sure that these guys grow well and feel protected safe and they're in the safe environment once they mold because they are very prone to attacks 
and even the littlest cuts can harm them very bad and possibly kill them. So I guess she took the food actually. Well, I'm changing subjects like so quickly because I just woke up and I'm like everywhere. And I feel like her, um, her antenna grow. I think her antenna grew. You see how both of them are long enough? But before, if you notice in my previous videos, one of them weren't that long. So I'm glad that her antenna's back. I don't know if that's called antenna, but still. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. And that's the process of molting and what you need to do before and after, you know, the molting process. And uh, any questions, just let me know. All right. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.